Hi, this is Tom from Kid Me Motorsports. Today, we have a customer's older Hammerhead 150 model that we're going to do some upgrades for and kind of fix them up a little bit. It's been a little bit out of repair. Now, there was some... Now, with the Hammerhead series, if you take care of them, they'll last you a good long time. Just take care of some general maintenance things, oil, grease all your fittings. It's one of the things that the Hammerhead has that uh, a lot of the cheaper carts don't. Uh, so, um, you know, if you want quality, you got to pay for quality. So anyways, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and do some upgrades. Um, the customers asked us to give a little bit more low-end torque, but nothing too dramatic. So what we're going to do is take the sliders out of this, weigh them, and we'll drop just a couple of grams. And I think they're going to like the, uh, the difference. Now we've jacked up the back end because we're going to have to take off the rear tire. We need to get off the muffler and the CVT case, and it's just a lot easier to take that tire off of there. Remember, put your bolts back where you got them from. Now we're ready to take off the CVT cover. There's about eight or nine eight millimeter bolts that go all the way around the outside of the case. We've got to take those out, and we can remove this. Now you'll want to notice as you're taking out these bolts out of your CVT case that the two bolts in the very end right here and right here in the back side of the case are longer than the rest of the bolts. You'll want to make sure you make a note of that when you go to put it back in. That could confuse you. Alright, let's see. That makes eight. So there's eight bolts that you got to take out of the CVT cover. After you get all eight bolts out, you'll also notice that there's a Phillips head screw with a cable attached to it. You'll need to take that off of there as well. Now this screw is being a little bit of a bear, so I'll show you a little trick. When things have been sitting in there for a while, get the proper size screwdriver, just give it a couple of taps. And that usually loosens them up for you. Once you get all the bolts out, get your screw and wire out of there. Grab a persuader. Now make sure you use something soft. Don't go hit, hitting it with a ball peen hammer. You don't want to booger up your CVT cover. But just give it a couple of light taps. Give it a couple of more light taps. Now you want to try to keep that gasket intact that's in here. Slide this out of the way. And here's your transmission. Here's your variator fan right here, and then your variator is actually behind the fan. And this is your clutch bell, and then your clutch uh, slide face pulley, and then your clutch is inside here. You can see it between these holes in there, that's your clutch. Okay, the variator is one of the easiest and cheapest things to upgrade. You can get a lot more low-end torque out of it, or even raise the top end a little bit, depending upon the type of sliders or weight sliders that you put in there. First thing you do is take off the variator fan. In order to do this, you need an impact wrench, and you'll have to hold the fan. Now, some of these you might have to wear a glove. They can be really tight from the factory. belt off, lay that off to the side, then slide the boss pin and the whole variator out. Hang on to the back, put your fingers back behind here because you want to hold this together as you pull it out because as you see, 
There's your backing plate, and there's your rollers inside there. Now what we want to do is we're actually going to weigh these rollers and see what weight we got in here now, and we're going to drop one or two grams to give them a little bit more low-end torque. They don't want to sacrifice any of the top ends, so we're only going to drop about two grams. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, we've got a handy-dandy little pocket scale here we got from Northern Tools or uh, Harbor Freight, one of those online for like 15 bucks. Um, it measures in grams. So what we're going to do is set this up here, take out one of these rollers, and let's see what we're starting with. All right, looks like 13.9, so that's probably a 14 gram roller because they're worn out. So if we got 14 gram rollers in there now, we're going to drop down to a 12 gram roller, and they should notice a, uh, a noticeable increase in their low end torque. Okay, now, here's the point where you have a decision to make. You have a couple of choices of what to go with inside the variator. What comes stock in the variator are these round rollers. Now, here's some, um, some nice performance rollers by MRP, but these are just like the rollers that are in the variator originally. They're round, and they roll right up the ramps on the inside. Now. The other option that you have is a DR pulley slider. Um, in the 150 hammerhead, they're 18 by 14, and then whatever grams you're looking for. Now, as we mentioned before, we're going with uh, 12 grams in this one. Now, the sliders, they go in a little bit differently because they are not completely round. As you can see, they've got flat sides to them. Now, the way that you put them in the variator is the long flat side, this one here, and not the two short ones, but the long flat side goes up against the inside of the variator. Just like that. And then you put all six of those in there with the long side, just like that. The long side goes right up against the inside of the variator. Each one the same way. Now, a DR pulley slider actually reacts more like one to two grams, one to one and a half grams lighter than the, the, than the same size roller that's in it. So now we've got all six of the DR pulley sliders back into the stock variator. You put your top back on, hold that all together, make sure you got your boss pin back inside. Holding it together, slide it back on the shaft. And make sure that's all the way in. And put your drive belt back on. Put your fan back on the outside. Make sure the splines are lined up. Put your, uh, put your bolt, your washer and your bolt back on there. Put your cover back on and don't forget to put this wire back on. The one that you took off that had the Phillips um, screw in it. Make sure you put that back on or she will not start. And then take her out for a spin. I think you're going to like the change. <laughs>